Welcome to the sixth tutorial of electrical estimation. In the fifth tutorial, we learned about the takeoff of power devices. We learned how these devices are different from others even though the symbols look the same. In this tutorial, we will do the security devices takeoffs. We will learn about cable tray measurements. We will go through key notes and try to develop an understanding that what's the purpose of these key nodes. So let's move to plan swift. In the last tutorial, uh, we did the counting for power devices. In this tutorial, we will check in detail. We will check in details of these power devices, like we counted uh, equipment connections in the last tutorial. But what what is of importance here is that what type of equipment we are doing the connections for. The cost will vary depending on the type of the equipment. For example, this is a connection for a fan, and this equipment connection is for a ball dispenser. So the prices of these connections will vary as the labor unit but these will be different so we will have to count these connections differently it is it is mentioned with some of the connections uh, that what is their type what is their equipment but with some of the connections uh, they haven't mentioned anything so they have given a key note for that connection for example we will look at key note 8 so what does key note 8 says it says refer to box note on this sheet regarding bar dispenser and flight scope radar wiring it says uh, we will have to look at the box note on this sheet these are box notes so we will look for the note which is related to ball dispenser this is for bay heater and fan controls this is for fans So this, this note is related to wall dispenser. Closely coordinate all roughing types and locations of wiring devices in stations with the architect and the owner's representative. Prior to roughing, provide a final approved drawing detailing locations of all electrical devices and rough pin. So it says that we need to coordinate our work with owner and the architect before doing these connections we we had an understanding in the last tutorial that where there is this enlarged plan is cut off from the drawing it will be shown on some other drawing or on the same drawing because to detail this portion on the similar page is difficult so what the architect does cuts that portion he increases its scale and shows it on the other drawing at the same drawing if we check on the right side here it is shown that where this portion is shown so it mentions that check detail 2 drawing e1.11 p so it mentions the same drawing we are working on its detail would be two first one is the main plan and second one is the enlarged plan so here it is given the work in that portion so what does the keynote one says this is keynote one 
it says receptacle located on consumer side of bar shall be DFC, DFCI USB and mounted at plus 36 inches after finished floor typical so wherever this word typical is mentioned it means this note is referred to all the devices in that location and AFF here means after furnished floor it would be 36 inches above furnished floor all these devices would be GFCI and USB receptacle as mentioned in the note now we will check some other notes we had already checked note 14 in the last tutorial note 11 is for another equipment connection we will check note 3 electrical contractor shall install timer of low high control switch for radiant bay heater one switch shall control two heaters switch provided by mechanical supplier so now here another important note is mentioned which says that switch provided by the mechanical supplier so you need to note down this this you need note down this note on your excel sheet because when you are going to price this item you don't need to you don't need to add its material cost all you need to do is put in its labor cost because it is provided by mechanical supplier and not electrical contractor after going through key notes uh, we will move to the next drawing which is security drawing it has different systems uh, it includes fire alarm system uh, teledata outlets access points you will also notice some cameras here so let's count these devices one by one uh, we will move to the symbol legend drawing and check what are these devices and then count them so open new tab click on the symbol legend drawing so here we have a legend for our telephone data equipment here we see a device tagged as AP which stands for IP addressable access point so this is the name of this device and below this name there is some description uh, let's read what's this description wrapped in by the electrical contractor cabled and terminated by the owner's low voltage cabling provider so what this information tells us that we are going to just install the box and the conduit stub up the ceiling for this device cable and uh, the cable termination will be done by the owner's low voltage contractor the electrical contractor shall be responsible for closely coordinating this way system to the rack and associated electrical within the data room spaces with the provider prior to any installations so electrical contractor will also have to coordinate for resway layouts and other installations with the low voltage contractor so after getting this information we will move to the security drawing and count these devices So here you will see these devices 
click on count and name this device success point start counting So now we are done with access point counts. We will count other devices. Stop it here. Check the symbol legend for other devices. Let's say these symbols. So this symbol stands for tally data outlet. I will come with this symbol. So we are going to count all these symbols. Let's stop it here and read more description for this device in the symbol legend. Stop. So, new telecommunications voice data outlet drafted in by the electrical contractor, cabled and terminated by the provider. So, the similar information like access point. Uh, the electrical contractor will do just the boxes and control stubs and he will have to coordinate for the installation of traceways so here are some manufacturers also but as the electrical contractor is doing just the rough in so we don't need to check these manufacturer So below this legend we see another legend this one is for cameras IP addressable camera same information as for the above low voltage devices electrical contractor will do just a rough so let's move to the drawing and count cameras as well So now we are done with cameras as well. We are done the counting for tally data outlets, access points, cameras. So here are some other outlets. These are for TV. You can count them as TV outlets. So in the same way we will count all these PV outlets but for now we skip this one save time stop it 
so while counting these uh, tally data outlets uh, one thing we missed is uh, you will see a letter written with some of the outlets one d and with some of them you will see two d so we will have to count these outlets as different items because they are different devices and uh, they will they will have different prices but like if you see 1d it means it has one data outlet and one tally outlet with 2d it has two data outlets and one tally outlet so the box boxes will be bigger for these devices and pricing will be different from the first one so we will have to count these devices different from the first one let's move to other telecom devices here you will see a telecom board which is tagged as ttb1 so let's check its information on the detailed drawing Here it is shown TTB1. It is for it is for loudspeakers. This one is for telecom. So we will check its dimensions here. It is Four by eight board, four feet cross, eight feet back board. It is actually two boards, and dimension of both of these are equal, which are four feet cross, eight feet. We can also measure these dimensions here. We can measure the length, which is. Four feet. So to measure the length, we will have to scale this drawing. Let's check its scale by eight inch equal to one feet. So here is the scale. Now that I have scaled it, I will measure the length of this tiny board. So here it turns out to be 14 feet. It would be 16 in actual. So there comes a little bit difference with scaling or some other factors are also included. So it would be 16 feet as both are 8 feet back boards. Below these backboards there are quad outlets and a grounding bus bar this is for telecom ground tgb1 let's check on the security drawing so here is the telecom ground bar so inside this room telecom room there is there Device that is tagged as MTR. Let's check on the scale drawing. What is MTR? So MTR here you will see MTR one. It is for racks that will be used to place the telecom panels inside them and do the wiring from those telecom panels. So 
after we are done with telecom devices let's move to file arm control panel and count its devices on the next drawing you will see the symbol legend for file arm devices let's count these devices move to the security drawing and check which for symbol you are going to count first let's say we count this symbol So what does this symbol stand for? It is audio visual notification device. So here you will see its manufacturer. Are approved equal. You can use some other manufacturer, but that should be approved by owner and should be equal to this one quality. So let's these audio visual notification devices. Alarm. Below this device, you will see another similar device but with letters WP. So, what are these letters for? These are for weatherproofing. So, this device would be weatherproof. We will have to count this different from the first one as the cost of this device will be higher. Let's move to the security drawing and count these devices. Let's check this device in the for legend. It is not given in the simple legend. Here it is mentioned, you will see manual fire alarm pole station. So this is fire alarm pole station. Let's move to next devices. Let's count this device. Check in the symbol legend what this symbol stands for. It is visual notification device. So the first one was both audio and visual notification device. This one is just visual notification device. Let's move to the next device. So here we have this symbol for another file alarm device. This one is for addressable dark smoke detector. Let's name it duct smoke detector. After doing the smoke 
detector take off we will move to other devices so here you will see some other devices FACP SCP ACP actually these are control panels for different systems FACP is fire alarm control panel ACP is access control panel SCP is security control panel then there are some other devices also TS is for temper switches we will this tutorial is getting bigger so let's stop it here we will try to cover these leftover devices in the next tutorial we already have done the counting in half we didn't need the counting to save time so let's finish this tutorial here the next tutorial we will try to cover these leftover devices and move to the next cable tray drawing we will measure cable tray and then we will try to forward with second floor so let's end it here we hope that you learned electrical estimation better way we would be needing your feedback how to improve this so for now uh, goodbye thank you